On behalf of the uh, Foden Society, could I uh, welcome all of you who are here to our third annual gathering, which is held here at the Bloxham Banbury Traction Engine Rally, by kind courtesy of the uh, Banbury Steam Society. The first one of our vehicles you can see entering the arena now is uh, 1956 heavy haulage tractor, SGG6, owned by Gary Greiser of Woburn. This vehicle was new to Gavin Wilkie of Glasgow, as I said in 1956, a company which was taken over by Pickfords in 1963. And you see this vehicle more or less exactly as it would have worked, complete with a Tasker trailer, um, used for hauling ton loads of up to 120 tonnes up and down the country. If you look a bit closer, I think, I can't see it from here, but on the trailer, you should see a lovely little model. This is a model of a 1952 export tractor, very similar to the one that's pulling the trailer. This has been built by uh, John Brandon of Harlington, Bedfordshire. Been completely scratch built. It uh, features a three-speed gearbox and working differentials, an actual working model. Magnificent little thing, so try and get a look at it as it goes past. I'll hand over to George to speak about the next one. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Right, as you can see, you've got the Jacobs S21, uh, powered by the Gardner 150 engine, 12-speed gearbox. Uh, that's my good lady driving it at the moment. She's 1962-63. She was the first, uh, this one, this particular vehicle, did the first articulated load, or palletised load, out of uh, what was then the, the Liverpool Bakery. Uh, the trailer is a 1964 York trailer, which we acquired a while back with Stelly's restoration. Um, and again, you know, she was a nice old motor, but we took it off the road because it was getting too heavy and too old. I'll get back to uh, Kevin for a moment. Next, we have a very nice uh, S39 tractor unit owned by John and Margaret Ianson from uh, Darlington. This vehicle worked for Tancred Sand and Gravel all of its working life, and John, the owner and driver of this vehicle, actually worked on it uh, at the Foden Depot in Darlington all of its working life. On the back of their trailer, incidentally, you can see a big... Uh, grey lump, which is actually a Foden powered generator. This generating set was used by the Royal Navy. It's got a Foden Mark I two-stroke diesel engine in it. It's uh, worth another look. Next we have Ian Perrett from Western Supermare with a, a two-stroke engine Foden tractor unit and trailer ex Arthur Brunsden of Stonehouse in Gloucestershire. If you listen carefully you'll hear the uh, burble of the magnificent two-stroke engine. You'll hear a few more of those as uh, the day goes on. Next we have Royston Bowery of Dundry, Bristol, with another two-stroke engine machine. Six-wheeler this time. There, listen to that. Beautiful. This machine, as you can see, is equipped with a high-up crane for self-loading. Nice drop-side body. Very tidy vehicle. With a nice little load of uh, stuff. First of our modern vehicles now, the Foden 3000 series. 275, I think, Cummins engine vehicle from Fermin Coates of uh, Cheshire. This uh, six-wheeler, it's actually a, a, a six by two, and the, 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 the first of the rear axles is a driving axle, the one behind is a tag axle that follows. Very uh, popular configuration these days. Next we have Mr. Moody from Reading with uh, a, a Cummins 14 litre engined uh, 4000 series tractor unit. Uh, typical of road transport uh, vehicles of the, of the current time. Very nice looking working vehicle. Next we have one of Roger Stevens uh, cement tankers, lovely, uh, beautifully turned out uh, bulk cement tank here, driven by John Eyre. This works, I think, out of Chinna Cement Works. Delivers uh, cement in bulk all over the place. Tipping tank, you see the, the, the tank on the back will actually tip up in the air, and a fan arrangement will blow the bulk powder out through the back of the tank and into the batching plant or whatever is uh, being used to mix the cement. Now we have Mr. Derek Baker from Western Supermare with another 30 series tractor unit. 
Um, oh, in fact, it's, it's a rigid, I do beg your pardon. Um, I think, yes, Gardner 180 powered uh, vehicle, this. Followed along by a very nice S20 eight wheeler from uh, Mr. Elliot Foreman. Sorry, Gary Baker, Western Super Mayor. Elliot's were the, the first owner of this vehicle. Hello, hello. Right. Uh, now, as you can see, we've got uh, again an eight wheel uh, S21 Mickey Mouse. So I think we've got the 150 in that one. Uh, a flatbed trailer. Was them days around about the 22 ton mark carrying weight. Nicely turned out again. Again, this is the thing with Foden, they, they did all this. Now again, we come back up to the, um, the newer end of the range. Uh, we've got the big Fodens again now. Eight wheel tipper, Bulker. I think they're powered. Are you powered with Cummins on that one? Rolls Royce. Rolls Royce. Sorry about that, Mr. Hargreaves. Again, we, we got all the three of them. We got Hargreaves. Again, we got uh, the, the 4300 with a cat in it this time. And I don't mean the Meow Meow Cat. Uh, the American cat engine. Superb engine, really. They, uh, they, they go well and they sound up. Again, Mr. Smith's very nicely turned out, Mr. Smith's motors. Very pleasant to see them. Again, we got the same three races again. Eight wheeler, the four, the one was the six wheeler. Again, coming in behind us again, we've got, uh, this was Gardner, Gardner Power, 270 Gardner, eight wheel bulk, bulk tip. Um, and it's nice to see the, the bulk tippers nowadays, because they're a much maligned group of people. You know, people say they're this, that, and the other, but, you know, they, they look well, the tippers nowadays. Ooh, get warm. Right, the one in front of the commentary point now, Stephen Dale from Parwich, I've been told, at Ashbourne in Derbyshire. I got it wrong yesterday, I said Parwich. Now, uh, this, this vehicle is a, a gardener powered eight-wheeler. 270 horsepower, it says on the badge, he's on the front. But uh, Stephen pointed out to me this morning the engine's been upgraded, so he's running a full 290 horsepower on there. Very nice, very useful piece of equipment. Martin Evans from Leicester now, nice little S20 unit, two-stroke engine again, you'll hear the sound as he goes past, and he's even mounted a spare engine on the back for you to look at, complete with a Foden gearbox. Nice Mark II S10 six-cylinder, Malcolm Baker from Sandford. 6LX CT engine. Craig Ely, next from Castle Bromwich. The first 3000 series uh, vehicle to throw, I think. No, no, I beg your pardon. The uh, Fermi Cox one was a 3000 series as well. Slightly narrower cab than the 4000 series. Much more cosy for the driver, much more practical for tipper use and that sort of thing. S21 Mickey Mouse cab we call these, built 1964, eight wheel recovery vehicle, now owned by uh, James Street Motors of, of Bury. You'll see this uh, vehicle here and there parked on the side of the motorway on the, uh, doing the emergency recovery work. Following him another S21, a very very nice uh, tidy vehicle, a bit of weight on the back as well, locked seats of Yeovil is the livery, owned by Vern D. Shapland of Western Supermare. Again, this is that two-stroke engine. Another S21 eight-wheeler carrying an S, I think it's an S34, eight-wheel on the back. David Wedlake of Winford near Bristol. Shows a vehicle carrying a decent-sized load. Shows what, the, what these vehicles can do. Now two very nicely turned out uh, cement mixers from Smiths of Lexington. Typical cement mixer configuration, rubber rear suspension, vertical exhaust, uh, Liebherr mixer drum. Very, very high quality mixer drums these are. Turned out by Liebherr in Germany. Here the bone mounted on three times the series uh, track here. Now this one, you've actually got the drum going round for you. Uh, see, actually working. Uh, he's even got his uh, yellow beacon going now as well.
Carl, ladies and gentlemen, the next one, uh, obviously she's got the bulker going out there, 1650. But the next one is a uh, heavy haulage uh, ballast tractor. The reason we call them ballast tractors is at one time on the back you would add your weight to the box on the back, so you had an equal weight for pulling heavy loads. That's a very nice, nicely turned out motor from uh, showing the, the colours of the tractor.